Thank you for joining me in yet another video about what it means to be intentional and how the different things which comprise that intentionality uh, begin to sort of clarify into specific activities which then reflect values, beliefs and um, direction in our lives which also then inevitably affects and impacts upon our business. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you who have been reading my book uh, about the number of emails you've been sending in. Normally, you know, when you get so many questions about a book, you begin to think, worry, really, that you haven't done a good enough job in explaining everything. But I think in this particular case, because being intentional is such a personal thing, and each of us has to synthesize it at their own level of understanding, the fact that so many of you have emailed me uh, about specific aspects of the book is something which I take as a positive sign because you've been thinking about it. What I'd like to cover today is the difference between action and activity. Now, action is something which we engage in intentionally because we have a specific goal in mind and that goal is part of the steps which we need to take or the milestones which we need to reach in order to get to, in order to, get to something which is further away, a long-term goal and it's part of our direction. Activity is what we do every day. You know, we wake up, we brush our teeth, we comb our hair, we put some clothes on and we go out in the world, pay bills, interact with people, etc. We're going to engage in activity regardless of any kind of action we take. But it is always good to have in mind specific um, differences between the two because they then reflect upon our understanding of our work ethic. And what I mean by this, of course, is that it is very easy to say, well, you know, if you haven't got somewhere in life, it's because you haven't been trying hard enough, you haven't been doing enough of what you should be doing, you're not working hard enough, you, your work ethic is not right. And this is not the case. Virtually everybody I know works hard every day. Not everybody I know succeeds in what they want to succeed in. I've thought long and hard about how to quantify this so that I can give you um, a clearer uh, way of understanding it. And the best example I can come up with is making a way through the jungle. Now imagine a jungle, it's overgrown, thickets everywhere, and we have to get through it. What do we do? Well, we do whatever uh, any classic explorer who's in the jungle will do. We'll pull out a machete and we begin to hack our way through the thickets that are in front of us. Now that is our work ethic. Any explorer worth his or her salt will hack away with everything they possess as they try to make their way through the jungle. But hack as we might, or hack with all our might, it will not get us where we want to if we don't have at the same time a clear sense of direction in where we should be hacking through the thicket that is in front of us. So that is really, you know, the difference between work ethic, activity, action, which is governed by direction. If in the jungle we have a clear sense of direction, then we choose where to direct our activity so that as we hack through it, we begin to get infinitesimally every time towards the direction we want to get to. If we don't have that sense of direction, what happens? Well, what happens is we whip out our machete, we hack through the thickets, we make our way through the jungle, and we end up going around in circles because we don't have anything to guide us. So that is the difference between action and activity. Action is always very directed. It is something we choose to engage in. It has a very specific goal in mind. It has a very specific direction. It is governed by very specific steps because we're very intentional about it. Activity is doing what is required of us each day so we can get through the day. It is very easy for activity to absorb all our energy and then we have zero energy to devote to action. So hopefully, this example will help you clarify in your head whether you are engaging in activity or you are actually putting together actions and then implementing them that will help you get to where you want to get to. Stay safe out there. Keep those questions coming in. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. 
do let me know what other things you need me to cover in the comments below or in your emails as you have up to now. And thank you for being part of this journey. Take care.